bring us to your house of prayer once again. We come to worship you in spirit and in truth. Oh, how they are faithful in the beauty of holiness, Lord God. Let your ship kind of glory fall in this place on this Sunday morning, Lord God. We come, Lord God, to have a high time with you on this morning, Lord God. Bless us real good, Lord God. Lord God, show up and show out this morning, Lord God. Lord, have your way in this service, Lord God. Save someone, deliver someone, set someone free, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you say you will supply all I need according to your riches and glory. And when you, we know you're going to do it because you're not a man that you should lie. You're not a son of man that you should repent. You is God and you is God alone and all by yourself, Lord God. Have your way in the service, Lord God. Lord God, bless the sick, Lord God. Bless Deacon Jones, Lord God. Comfort him and his family in their time of bereavement, Lord God. Lord God, let them know that they're not alone. You say you will be with them, Lord God. Say you'll never forsake them. And we know you will do what you say you will do, Lord God. Bless this body, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we come to fellowship, Lord God, together. We know that iron sharp is iron, Lord God. Lord God, and as the choir sing songs from Zion, Lord God, minister to our hearts, Lord God, through songs from, from Zion, as the choir sing, Lord God. Oh, bless us real good, Lord God. And the preach man, Lord God, as he preach your gospel, when he stand before us, Lord God, give him a word from all our Lord God. A word that will liberate, set free, and make whole. Bless us real good through your word, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Good morning, church. Good morning, everybody. To join in again, and if you will, because down through the years, you know, God has been good to you.
we look to the hills for coming by him. All of our help comes from you, Almighty God, our Father. Thank you. Oh, Lord, my God, we just can't take it up. Thank you, Father. In the name of you, thank you, Father. In the name of you, thank you, Father. In the name of you, thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord.
Lord will lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. You are worthy yes. to be praised this morning, Lord. Yes. Can you know why to do it like Jesus? Oh, I searched all over. Oh, I couldn't find it. Nobody. I look high and I look low. Good fire. Nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first Sunday, y'all, we all be happy about it. Amen. God has done it again. <laughs> they had not been for the Lord. Amen. Our benevolent fifth will be done for Psalms 23. Amen. Let's prepare for our benevolent offering. Amen. You can't beat God giving. No matter how hard you try. The more you give, hello, my brothers and my sisters.
Amen. God has been good to us. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Do we have any guests in the house? Any visitors? Please stand. We just want to acknowledge you. If you're a visitor for the first time. Because you know all about all about us, oh God. You know all our thoughts, oh God. But we give it to you right now, Father God. Help us right now, Father God. Help us spiritually right now, Father God. Help us, give us the, the spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. 
Have mercy, O oh God, because you look before, beyond our faults. Lord, and you see just what we need. Have mercy right now. Father God, you're a battle axe in a time of a battle. Shelter them in a time of a storm. Father God, we pray for the families that are in bereaved today, O oh God. Father God, we are weak, but thou art strong. Father God, we're calling upon your strength right now, Father God. We're calling upon your guidance right now, O oh God. Have mercy right now. Father God, I'll be so careful to give you the praise and the honor, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Father God. Oh, your oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, was nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Cover us again right now, Father God, in the blood, oh God. Have mercy right now. We thank you. We give you the praise. And we just want to say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
he's able. Amen. Because it's not something so great that we have done. But just knowing that God is able. Amen. The Lord has been so good. Did you hear the choir? The Lord has been so good to me. I'm making this thing personal. God has been so good to me. Amen, amen. To God be the glory. I just want to take time out to thank God for another chance and another opportunity. Amen. I give honor to Reverend Davis, Reverend Bentley, uh, Chairman Deacon, Deacon Morgan, to all the other deacons, uh, Deacon Essence, the mothers, all the preachers that are in the house. Amen. Amen. Reverend Wise, amen. Amen. I tell you, he uh, tearing up the uh, organ this morning. And the choir is just singing out of their souls. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just want to also give honor to my wife. Amen. I'm going to just tell y'all like this. <laughs> hey. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying I'm glad that God gave me a uh, help me. Amen. That, that pushed me. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to be real about it. Amen. 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 But I'm just here today to, I do have a word. I've been working on one for quite a while. But I just tell y'all, God is, has a sense of humor. He changed the whole thing this morning. <laughs> Amen. I was going to talk about whatever. But this morning, from the scripture that was read, I just want to tell you, to talk to you about there is joy in living for Christ. There is joy in living for Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father. Father, we come again once more and another time. Looking to you, O Father. As I stand behind this sacred guest, O God. Looking to you, Father, the author and finisher of our faith. Calling upon you right now, Father God. Asking you, Father, to allow me to decrease. That you may increase, O oh God. Father God, help our spirit of understanding, O oh God. Help our spirit of love, O oh God. Help our spirit of seeing beyond our faults as you do, O oh God. Have mercy right now, Father God. Because there is joy in living for you. Nobody greater than you, Father. Have mercy right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. There is joy in living for God. Brother Paul let us know that we have to be able to maintain things, to be able to keep things under control. As I say, the joy in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We got to realize that no matter what we go through in life, we got to be able to give God the praise. We got to be able to let God know that, hey, we are happy. Sometimes, y'all, they don't always, I was, I was trying to sing that song, say, oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Because that's always, like you said, rejoice because there should be something on the inside that working on the outside of us 
that we may be able to, as believers, rejoice in the Lord. Not just rejoicing when things are going well, but rejoicing in Him when things aren't. Amen. We got to realize that no matter what we have, we can call upon Him. We got we got this thing called the mind, old. We got this thing they call the mind. Yeah, yeah. If you're not careful. This mind will get you in some fixes that you can't get out of. Right, right. And um, here we go to do what? Calling on the name of Jesus. Yeah. But the Bible tells us to rejoice in the Lord. No matter what we're going through in our trials, in our tribulations, we must rejoice in the Lord. The Lord gives us the spirit of what? The spirit of love. Hello, the spirit of joy. Amen. 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 But we got to understand that we'll be able to call on the Lord. Yes. One thing I thank God that, that, that we are, as folks, we're not mind readers. But God is. And the reason I say that because a lot of things that goes into mind is not of God. Amen. Amen. So we got to be able to rejoice. Be able to do what God would have us to do. Amen. And then as it goes on to say in verse number five, I'm going to go to the Father where it says, the Lord is at hand. Amen. The Lord is at hand. The Lord may come at any time, y'all. We don't know the time. We don't know the hour. We don't know the minute that the Son of Man is going to come. Amen. We got to realize that no matter what we go through, the Bible tells us to be ready. Not just be ready, but we got to be ready. We got to be working. Amen? Because we got to be working and we got to watch at all times. In other words, we got to be able to do what God would have us to do. In other words, it's at hand. Time is winding up, y'all. Time is filled with swift transitions. Amen? So we got to be able. I'm not planning on being only to you before long. No, but I do have a word. Amen? Amen. And then verse number six, this tells us to what? Ooh. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is say, uh, I'm going to say this. God said, make all your requests known unto him. Be careful for nothing. In other words, don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, don't worry. Because sometimes, y'all, we worry about the wrong thing. We worry about the wrong thing. We got to realize that no matter what we go through in life, God's got it. Prayer. Prayer renews. Prayer renews our trust in God, our relationship with God. We got to be able to understand that no matter, we got to be careful. Amen. Be careful for nothing. Because we don't have to worry about a thing. But it's all in God's time. Amen. There are some things I just say to, this, say to you. As we go through life. We pray and ask God. And we pray and ask God. And pray and ask God. And pray and ask God. We got to realize that it may not be in our time. But it's in God's time. Amen. When, when the, Bible, the, the, the Bible tells us to talk to God and leave it there, cast all our cares, make your requests known unto God, do that. And then don't go and say, well, let me see what I can do. <laughs> Wait on God. Wait on God to help you through this trial, through whatever you're going through, and whatever it may be family, church, amen, finance. Whatever it may be, I know I'm touching on some things that we all are going through right now. But God let us know that there is a way out. Amen. That he is a way maker. Paul lets us know that we can, we, we can have joy in living for Christ. Have joy in living for Christ. No matter what things may look like, I keep saying no matter. Because it don't. As long as God Somebody says, as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Amen? Right. But, but, but I'm going to say this to you. 
when you turn your words into worship. <laughs> you hear what I say? When you turn your words into worship, yeah. God will turn your vows into blessings. <laughs> Did you hear what I say? Did you hear what I say? When you're worried about something, God already done worked it out. But it's you who got to what? Get in line. This is you that got to get in line. Not by what? But, 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 but by the word. I'm going to say it this way. By the word of God. We got to line up. If we don't line up with the word of God, we're going to be what? Zigzagging? Zigzagging? We're going we to be swaying in the wind. We're going to be, as, as, as Reverend Wise talking about how that wind blows. Sometimes, y'all, when that wind gets high enough, it'll go to the biggest person. It ain't got, got, got nothing to do with science. Amen? We just got to realize that no matter what we go through, God has us in his hand. And we got to be careful for nothing. Amen? We don't, we don't have to worry about anything. We got to be, be able to just cast all of our cares on him and, and work out for ourselves. Song saying, I tell you all that, this song is all in my <laughs> sermon today. It says, blessed assurance. Be assured and very sure that God is our solid rock. That we'll be able to, 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 to be able to overcome. Because he told us we are conquerors. Amen? Amen. So we'll be able to overcome and, and be glad that, uh, that all things God work good for those that love the Lord. Amen? And we just thank God no matter what we go through. God is good. Amen? And I, I, and I go to the verse number 7. And the peace of God, which is passes all understanding, Keep your heart and mind for uh, Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. You know, I want to say this. It says, peace of God. One thing I thank God for is the peace that he gives us. The joy that he gives us. Because the, the joy that God gives us, the world is given, and the world can't take it away. So we got to be glad, thank God for the peace, and, and let it come from the heart. You know, one thing, as Monique said, we got to put it in action. We got to put it in action. We got to uh, show love is a what? Action word. So one thing about it, a great flood may come to in our lives. In other words, I'm talking about trouble. And I just thank God that trouble don't last. Always. Sometimes we seem like it, it, it does. Because we let it get to our, our spirit. When we let it get to our spirit, it burns us down to like we, we're, we're, we're carrying a heavy load. But the Bible tells me that, the, the Word tells me that God is our heavy load carrier. He, because he's talking about cast, he don't care how many people it is. He say cast it. He say cast it. And then the thing is, is when we lay our troubles before, when we take our troubles, it says, take it to the Lord. In prayer. Right. He said, everything, not just some things. Right. Everything, take it to the Lord in prayer. And, and, and just hold on a while and, and, and watch God work. Yeah. Sometimes I have to be honest, preacher. That sometimes I say, God, I'm going to be like something like I used to be. I want that microwave thing. Yeah. Yeah, I want it right now. Yeah. But see, now I learned that no matter what I want, it's in God's will, whatever God wants for me. Yeah. It says what God has for me. It is for me. It is for me. No matter what, we got to just be able to stand. 
be able to stand because one thing about it, when you're at peace, God, God, we will have a troubled heart, yeah. troubled minds, troubled spirit. Amen. God would open up doors yeah. that nobody else could open up. Right. See, one thing about it, y'all, we would set a door on us. I had to put it like this when, when you out there looking for a job. Our position. We have one right here in the church. Amen. 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 Our sister was to say she just became assistant principal. Yeah. Look how many years she said she waited for that position. Yeah. But guess who she waited with? Not by herself. By the help of God. And see, the thing I like about it, and it says, God is one that cannot lie. God has made us so many promises. And y'all, I'm going to say this to you. I don't know why it just came to my mind. Stop telling God, trying to make a deal with God. Tell God, I promise you this if you do this. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Oh, we got mighty quiet. We got even quieter. Amen. Because we have the tendency, some of us, say, God, if you get me out of this situation, I'll do this. God, if you help me with this, I'll do this. But see, God ain't, let's make a deal. God is let's make a wheel, his wheel. Be done. Amen. So we gotta let God will be done in our life. So we relax God to work in your life. Move self out the way. Move self out the way. And allow God to work in you. Amen. 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 Allow God. Verse number eight. Oh, yes. I like this one. It says, finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Amen. In other words, y'all is telling you to stop it. Stop thinking about that. My grandfather always told me, he said, if the wagon ain't broke, don't fix it. Amen. I'm going to use it another way. If your car ain't broke, don't fix it. But just continue to what? Maintain. So in other words, I'm telling you, stay connected to the Lord. Not only through prayer and supplication, but it tells us to, 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 to study that Bible. Study the Word. Have mercy. Study the word. Meditate on it day and night. Do not be lost. Do not lose. In other words, we have to be pure. Do not lose your heart. In other words, do not lose your heart. In other words, don't give up. No. There's some things that, 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 that we want to give up on. And I, I, I I'll just say this. I was one of them. I was one of them. Years ago, I turned my back on God. But things began to happen in my life. But I began to call upon the name of Jesus. Because he's always there. See, we turn our back on God. God don't turn our back on us. Only thing God did when he turned his back on his son was turn his back against sin. To 
Jesus came because he will have what? No part of it. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. And then it says, Verse number 13. He said, I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Which strengthens me. In other words, the power of God. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in his blood. Oh yes, thank God for the power. In verse number 19. My God. My God. Shall supply all your needs according to his riches and his glory by Christ Jesus. No matter what you need, God's got it. Whatever you need, God's got it. Why? Why would we want to serve a God like this? There is joy in living for Christ. I thank God for his great joy. I thank God that he gave us an opportunity to be able to call upon him for ourselves. Because joy, joy, God's great joy. Because I'm going to tell you like this, that, that, that there's things that, that, that negativity in our spirit. That's why we have to ask God to, re, to renew the spirit in us. Not only just any type of spirit, the right spirit. There are some of you got jealous spirits. <laughs> We have those spirits that, 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 that just don't like somebody. Mm. And we got those spirits that, 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 that's called, I'm going to just say, hell spirit. We got so much hell in us. But one thing I learned that we got to preach, we got to preach, when we got to pray, we got to pray and preach the hell out of them. And love that word love. We got to love the hell out of them. That spirit, we 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 we, we, we got to bind. We got to bind that spirit. We got to, as we go, we say, walk with me, Lord. Yes, Lord, walk with me. Talk with me, Lord. Knowing that what I am your own. But one thing about the church, we got to realize that. The joy in living for God should be the main thing. Is that one thing about it? He died. He died. He died. But he rose again with all the power in his hands. So that's enough for, for, for living for Christ. Because he died enough of us years and years ago. Before we was even in our mother's womb. My God, my God, my God, what a mighty God we serve. I'm just going to say that we got to continue to live in the name of Jesus. It says, therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, unmovable, and always abiding in the word of the Lord. For you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. It's in the Lord. It's in the Lord. Nobody without God, we can't do anything. Without Him, we're like a ship without a sail. Without God, we can't do anything. We got to realize that no matter what we do, we need God to help us along the way. We need God to give us a little bit of emotion. We need it. We need it. We need it. I thank God for the strength. Because he's told me.
me that I am weak, but thou art strong. Amen. 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 I, I, I say this, y'all. We need to go back to the old landmark. All right. Yeah. Amen. We need to go back. Because I found out today, Lord, that, 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 that there is joy in living for Christ. You know, I'm going to tell you all, I'm going to say this to you. I feel that when I am getting closer to God, the devil began to get busy. He began to get busy. He began to, he get in all, I'm going to just take it like this, he get in all your business. <laughs> he get in all your business. But you got to tell the devil, like I tell him, you have no power. You have no authority. Amen. I get my authority, my instructions from God. <laughs> Amen. So we got to understand that no matter what we go through, there is times, I, I have to be real because the Spirit is telling me to say, there have been times that I really, as I've gone through what I've gone through. Amen. Nobody knows my story. Amen. But there are things I know that all of us have been through. But I'm here to tell you that there is joy in living for Christ. Folks, I'm going to run on and see what the end is going to be. Amen. But we got to do this as it says, and I'm going to take my seat. Amen. 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 Uh, always my favorite scripture, y'all. If my peoples, y'all know it. If my peoples, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, oh yes, and pray and seek my face, and turn from thy wicked ways. He said, I will hear from heaven and I will heal thy land. Amen. I put it like I'm going to say this. A little rain must fall into all of our lives. Just tell yourself you're living not for yourself only, but you're living For the joy in living for Christ. Amen. Amen.
Savior, Jesus Christ. We come to the Lord asking you to bless this Bless them for the purpose that has been given. Bless those that have the desire to give. The Lord, we pray right now, Father God, is deep spoken out for ignorance in the future, O oh God. Help us right now, Father God. Help us, O oh Lord, to say, lean not to our own understanding. We acknowledge you. Thank you, Lord. We ask your blessings and peace. Your purpose. Jesus' name.
this represents the blood that was shed for us for the remission of our sins. And he said, as often as we do it in remembrance of him, let us drink. Some say, I know it was good. Strength and my redeemers. 